Let's go. Here's what you'll need. You'll need fabric, felt, uh, fabric glue, <laughs> sewing pins, stuffing, hair pins, and some good scissors. Let's get started. So, first thing you're going to need is to fold your fabric in half and start on your triangle. Mine is four inches wide and I'm going to have a half an inch seam around it. So when I cut it out, there's still some seam allowance left around it. And when you cut it out, you should have two black triangles that are four inches wide. So now we're going to take your triangles, pin them to the folded pink fabric to make the two slips for the inside. So all you got to do is cut, cut, cut. Now pay attention, we're going to take one of the slips of the pink ears and we're going to glue it to one side of the black ear and you're going to do that all around the sides of the ears except the bottom leave the bottom open and unglued now you should have two different slips and one glued to the ear one not glued to the ear so now we're going to flip over one of the black ears and put the other pink slip on the other side and you're going to glue all around the edges again, but the bottom, like you did before. When you flip it inside out, this is how it should exactly look like. Now, we're going to make a 4 inch wide circle on the folded black fabric to make your closing and slash bottom of the ear. And when you cut it out, make sure you have a half inch seam allowance around the circle. So you have some space to glue that onto the ear to close it up. If you don't know what I mean, just watch the video. Now that we have it, we can take our fold in from our cat ear and our seam allowance from the circle and glue them together. So when you turn that inside out, you'll see a fold on the outside. And then you can stuff it. This is exactly how it should look like when it's stuffed to the rim uh, as best as you can. Now close it up with some glue and get started on your hems. So for my hems, I actually use the same fabric and cut two strips of fabric out and glue down the top and the bottom halves so it looks more neat and folded. And I use my glue to push it down as I folded it down with the glue. Now I'm going to see how long I can use my hem all the way around the cat ear. So I'm just taking one side, measuring it all the way around, and seeing it to the other side. If you, if you have any excess like I did, you just cut it off and then when you're done with that, you can glue all the way around it and put it back on the ear. Now let's get started on the hairpins. So for the hairpins, I had to take the plastic off of my hairpin to make it bare so the glue can stick to the fabric. So if you need to use your any utensil like I used my scissors, feel free to do so. It might take you 5-10 minutes so don't rush yourself. Now I'm going to take my glue and put it on the bare metal hair clip and press down and apply to the cat ear so I can finally see if they can connect together so I can put it in my hair. Once you have that down and done, you should be finished. I decided to put two hair clips on mine because my hair can be pretty thick over time, but if you want to use one, make sure you use a pretty big one so it's basically sturdy. But once you're done with that, you're finished and add on decorations or whatever you want. And this is how you do your basic Nico cat ears.
Sha-la-la-la 